I think, but to be honest, there's more reference with some of these to film. I think, because the last body of work I did, I was quite influenced by film noir, and I was interested in things like, which I've still got here, feet, um, or just fragments of things that would be suggestive of other things that were going on that were actually not in the picture. For some reason, I've always put things in the middle, it's really obvious, but I've always put things in the middle of, I've always been quite neat with compositions and I, I love things that are more random and I, I don't know why I do it, I think it's a control thing. <laughs> what, what are you controlling? I'm tr obviously trying to control my own universe within a, a rectangle, I think, I think um, it's got a lot to do with why I do what I do, maybe it's just Life is hard to control, so I like to be able to own that that thing and and sort of um, make that my world while I'm in there. Do you know yourself what's going on beyond um, the pictures? Well, my interest is really very much in multiple readings of imagery, and that that should come down to the viewer's interpretation. So, um, yeah, I don't have a definitive idea. Like this one, which the original of this one was called The Vampire. There's nothing about him that fundamentally suggests that he's a vampire. Obviously, he's just a man in a suit. Although this one came out a little bit androgynous, he could almost be a woman. If you squint at that, it's kind of, it looks like a pointy tooth, the back, the neck, and the t <laughs> This is in my head, of course, but, um, and so there's a reference to the sharp tooth, and um, there's meant to be, he's actually standing in front of an abstract painting, but that little red bit is almost like, could be a splash of blood, so there's little uh, links to an idea which you wouldn't get if you just saw it on its own, but within this exhibition, because it's touching on notions of the supernatural, I'm hoping that um, I'll be able to make those links a bit more obvious. Um, and because he's turning away, this, it becomes really mysterious. There's no identity to the person. So it's also just about the light and the luminosity of of that, where, where that section sort of becomes a bit abstract, I like that as well. Yeah. How would you like, say, that picture to affect the viewer? Um, it's just a mystery sort of thing. It's not doing anything major, but um, I think within the context of the exhibition, I'd like it to um, spark some sort of interest into meaning and identity. I think when it's paired with um, a non-figurative image, which is what I'm going to try to do, is have a non-figurative scene with a figure and see if people can make links between those two things. So the, there's a, there will be a few images with that particular person. This one here is the same model and I was actually trying to get him to look like a magician. I've got a few images where he's, um, you know, putting his arms out like he's performing a trick. I'm really interested in the idea of um, magic as opposed to the supernatural, so that within the exhibition you would question whether it was just a trick, or like a magic trick. And, and really cliche ideas as well, like ghosts. Like these two are, um, they're like doppelgangers, like twin ghosts. But the funny thing is that, I mean, they've got no legs, which is sort of a traditional, maybe a, a white sheet with holes in a ghost cliche sort of. But then the rest of them are really solid and they've got hands and so it, it doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> which is what I like about it. I, I just wanted to um, play with ideas of what could be um, a trick of the eye and what can be a real sort of experience with a, a ghost or an apparition or something. Do you start off with a smaller image? 
Um, I had this time because that's what I had to work on. I didn't have any of the large um, canvases around, so I was stuck in there actually just doing small stuff. I didn't think I was going to get any bigger than that because I'm wasn't handling the larger stuff, so it has worked out to be a really good way to sort out an image in terms of composition and everything before scaling it up to that, that size, so, so that I know that the results are probably going to be a success instead of um, complete disaster. I'm hoping that within the images, though, where something is could be really obvious, it sort of takes on a sinister turn at the same time, and that's a less obvious thing. It's hard to explain. I hope that I hope that it will make sense visually because I hate to have to just talk about it. <laughs>